So I know this is a little bit different from what I normally do, but I'd like to discuss a few things of what I absolutely love and a couple of things that I don't awfully care for about my 2011 Crown Victoria. So I got this car about a month ago and I, I love it. It's one of the best vehicles I think a person can have, period. It's, well, I wouldn't say it's sporty, but it's decently quick, which is nice. It's a, it's a fun car to drive for the most part. Um, like, <laughs> it's not any sports car or anything like that, but it's, it's fun to drive because when you hit the gas, you know, you go, which is fun. Like I said, it's not superbly sporty, but you can go. Next thing I love about this car is its size. It is gigantous. It's a beast. And it's designed for that. It's got to haul stuff, right? This was an ex-police car. It was part of the Edmonton Police Fleet. And it's got to haul a lot. The trunk is humongous. It's honestly gigantous. I've never seen a trunk that big. You could fit bodies in there. Many bodies. Not that I would, probably. But you have that opportunity, which is kind of neat. Kind of scary, but kind of neat. With that, it does have a bit of a con, though. Driving in the city, um, any large center, it can be difficult to park. You know, it, like it's long, it's wide, it doesn't have the best steering radius. It's not bad, but it doesn't have the best. Navigating through the city like some of the small streets, it is kind of difficult. But I'd say the size of it is more of a, um, a positive than a negative. It also provides safety, which leads me on to my next point. It's got one heck of a crumple zone, so if you do get into an accident, you're not going to have the engine go through your feet, you know? Also, if you do get into an accident, it's going to be at low speeds. When you're traveling behind someone in this car, they're going the speed limit. They think you're a cop, so they're going to go the speed limit or a little bit less. I'm not even joking, when I'm on the highway on my way to school, the speed limit's about 110, and people go 109. I have to pass them. If I don't, I am going well under the speed limit. Also, people yield the right of way to you correctly. They don't necessarily give their right of way up, but they yield it correctly. So if you don't have a stop sign and they do, they stop and they stay there until you go. The only other downside I can really think of is the fuel mileage. It's not, it's definitely not great. It's actually comparable to a truck, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, my brother's truck, I think, gets about 20 miles to the gallon. This gets about the same. Uh, it's definitely not terrible, but it's not a Pontiac Sunfire like what I had before. Uh, but it's, a it's an amazing car, it really is. And I absolutely love it. Anyways, that's the end for this video. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, do like it, do comment. Um, if you think I should change something, if you don't like this angle, or if you don't like my face, then uh, comment. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good one.